This is Captain Frankie Tupazna with the first TOC Sustainment Automation Support Management Office. I have with me my SASMO team, Chief Warrant Officer 3 Larry Anderson and Sergeant Luis Toro. Today we're going to demonstrate the steps to install the Cisco Firepower 1120 router into the CSS VSA indoor unit. We're also going to show you how to submit your SDN registration, which is needed to complete your VSAT migration. The things you need for this installation are the CSS VSAT indoor unit, the Firepower 1120 router with power cord, mini USB cable, 18 inch ethernet cable, and brackets. You will also need a Phillips screwdriver, a flat tip screwdriver, Phillips head screws, and cable management ties to keep things organized. Before we begin, make sure to capture the serial number from the back of your router. This information is needed for your SDN registration form. Attach the two mounting brackets to the side of the router facing the front. Then we are going to connect the three cables to the back of the router. The power cord is plugged in here, the USB mini cable here, and your ethernet cable to port two as shown here. At this time, you can turn on the power switch on the back. We recommend switching the power to the on position before installing the router as the location of the power switch makes it difficult when the router is inserted. To start the installation, remove the IDU case covers. Next, ensure the VSAT power is off. Open the IDU rear panel by turning the two captive thumb screws. If needed, use a Phillips screwdriver if the screws are tight. Move around to the front of the IDU and remove the four Phillips screws holding the faceplate here and remove the faceplate. This is where we will seat the router. If the modem tray prevents the router from sliding into the IDU, loosen the modem tray screws. Insert the cables first and route the cables through the IDU. Slide the router into the IDU and be careful not to pinch the cables that you have just inserted. Open the laptop tray and pull the laptop out. Locate the USB cable. Route the cable under the router and plug it into the USB port located in the rear of the management laptop. Locate the power cable and plug it into the IDU AC surge protector. At this point, close the rear panel. Be careful not to pinch or fray the cables and connectors. Use the zip ties to organize the cables so that the rear panel can close. Locate the ground fault circuit interrupter cable and attach it to the rear of the IDU. Plug the other end into a power outlet. You can now power up the IDU and let the router begin to boot up. This may take five to seven minutes. Return to the front of the IDU. Using the four screws you have removed from the faceplate, secure the router in place. We tighten the screws on the modem tray if necessary. Notice we did not plug in the other cables at this time. If this is a production VSAT, you want to wait until the day of your appointment to make the final connections. We'll cover the final connections in the phase four installation video. Now let's get the information for the SCN registration worksheet. Using the management laptop, go to the VSAT toolbox and select PuTTY. Click the serial radio button and click open. Once PuTTY is initiated, press the enter button for the Cisco ASA prompt. To enter enable mode, type EN and hit enter. It will ask you to create a password. Use Cisco in lowercase as a temporary password. Note, this password will change when you get the configuration file from the INOC. It will ask you to retype the password to confirm entry. 
You are now in enable mode when you see the Cisco ASA with the pound sign. Type show interface summary or SH space INT space SUM and hit enter. This will give you detailed information for each interface. Record the MAC address for each interface listed. There are a total of 13 MAC addresses that you will need to capture along with the interface port number. Repeat this process for 12 interfaces and management interface by pressing the space bar. It is important that you capture the MAC addresses with 100% accuracy. Next, we will fill out the SDN registration spreadsheet. Do not alter the structure of this workbook. Enter the information for your VSAT, router, and all devices that are part of your VSAT network. Please ensure to enter the items in the same format as the example provided. Ensure that you use your Brigade TPE UIC and your Unit TPE UIC. You can find your TPE UIC on your TPE hand receipt. Speak to your Unit S4 or PVO for this information. Once you have completed the SDN registration spreadsheet, send it to the first TSC SASMO group inbox. The first TSC SASMO manages all the SDN registrations in TeamTrack. Once your SDN registration is accepted by the INOC, you are ready to move on to phase four. Please see the phase four video for your next steps. Thank you for your time and please reach out to us at the first TSE with any questions.